I am guilty of all charges, I admit. I spend too much time playing games on PC, but playing the right games can give you a few lessons which you can use in your business. Today I'm going to talk about EVE Online, because playing Candy Crush doesn't teach you much and EVE has two features which you can't find anywhere else. The first is that the players are almost in no way limited in how they treat each other. So scamming, mugging and hiring someone to hurt somebody else is allowed. Only spreading hatred is forbidden and you can't claim that you are somebody else and you can't scam people for real money. Except you can convince someone to buy an in-game currency for real money and then scam those of them that's completely legal, it's completely fine. The second feature of the game is that they keep uh, the real distance in it. The distance between the earth and the sun is around 93 million miles or 1 AU. In EU most of the star systems have 30 to 200 AU, where even our solar system would fit in, and they have around 8000 of them. That's about as many stars as you can see on a clear night sky. Well, not if you are living in London, obviously. Lesson number one. Risk is ISK. Most players avoid risk, 85% of them live in the sectors where the police still works and they either trade, mine or build something. And their profits are minimal due to high competition. In the real world most people are employed, there is almost no risk and they receive a little more than a minimal wage. But if they would start a business or at least invest, their income could be much higher. So ask yourself. Do you want to take leftovers from your boss's table? And then 52% of them would take the government as a tax? Or would you rather be the master of your own time? Information is profit. In EU, players can complete a few missions and get several hundred thousand. I wrote a code that checks all newly opened contracts and then picks for me the most undervalued ones. Or you can do a market research, find out what is scarce and then produce it. Or compare prices in place A and B and then just buy here, sell there, pure profit, unless somebody mugs you on the way. Game is full of muggers. In real life, whether you go into business, you want to know how to improve your product, your site, what stocks to invest in or just what video on YouTube would have the highest chance to success. You have to do your research. More information equals more chance for success and therefore higher profit. Our world is just a tiny grain of sand in the middle of nowhere. Just a few centuries ago people thought that the earth was the center of the universe. And anyone who claimed the opposite got a quick reality check by Catholic Church. I don't want to go into complete nihilism like Rick and Morty. Nobody exists on a purpose, nobody belongs anywhere, everybody's gonna die, come watch TV. But Eve will give you a feeling of insignificance differently. A simple flight around the star, when you fully realize how small our earth is. Hope you won't go watch TV right now. Remember, just as small and insignificant is any problem that prevents you from realizing your dreams. As soon as you give someone opportunity to deceive you, he probably will. In the game you will find many stories when somebody believed someone and he ended up losing his ship or money. My grandfather gave mandate to a neighbor to represent him in the land court and it ended up by a neighbor taking part of my grandfather's land. I don't want to say you shouldn't trust anyone, just be careful. It's always easier to say I'm sorry that I didn't trust you than trying to get back what you lost. The police is not here to protect you. There are NPCs in EU that make sure that system is safe. But they only chase down players who have low security status. These are the ones who often attack others or they come to shoot down those who recently attacked others and they didn't manage to escape from the crime scene. They leave thieves who loot down ships alone. Also, real cops have on their cars help and protect, sometimes they act as if they have there to find, bully and just maybe try to solve something if it's not too hard. In short, you have to protect your business yourself. The price is determined by market. Adam Smith 300 years ago spoke about the invisible hand of the market, which determines the prices of goods and services. It happened to me that I made a component that I sold for 60 million and which I could not sell for 200,000 a week later. And all that thanks to different 
level of supply on the market. Have you ever wondered why one phone sells for 800 pounds while the other sells for 100 even though their performance is almost the same? Or why Beat Studio Buds costs 6 times more than the Tozo T6 even if those who buy them rate them as worse? And the answer is simple. Supply and demand. It's because Beats marketing department can attract new customers faster than the construction workers can expand their factory. So remember two things. On the customer side, things that are more expensive may not be better. And on the seller side, if you can increase your demand for your goods through clever marketing, you will be able to charge more than your competition who have better product. Outsource. If you hire people who contribute a little bit to your business, you will have it faster than if you did it by yourself. Of course, you will have to give them a share of the profit. But only a madman would give them a whole sum of money they made. For example, Steve Jobs. He gave only 20% of the profit to his friend who solved his whole problem and did all the work while Jobs was just sitting there. In the game, you can hire people who will hold something for you Thanks to the purchases of uh, minerals from uh, miners, you don't have to spend whole day mining or you can hire mercenaries to eliminate your competition. There is a cruel world. Block. Something is constantly asking for your attention. See what's going on on TV, a new video with kittens, the latest investment of some guy will surprise you. Things that just eat your money and your time. You have to learn to block them. In game it's easy. Two clicks and the scam spam is gone. I wish it was that easy in real life. Not everyone who hurts you is your enemy and not everyone who looks trustworthy is your friend. You may have heard the story of a sparrow who is incredibly cold and falls from a tree. When suddenly a cow walks around and shits on him. He is not happy with that but after a while he feels warm so he starts singing. Suddenly fox goes around, she hears him, digs him up and eats him. So lesson? Not everyone who shits on you is your enemy, not everyone who helps you out from a shit is your friend, and when you are fine and in warm, shut up. Eve is full of stories of people to whom others have been kind just to scam them minutes later. And you should remember that a real friend will sometimes tell you things that you will not like or agree with. If you can take something from today's video, then this. Don't trust anyone, take a risk and hire some dumb dumb who will work for you. Thanks for watching and break that like button uh, uh, and please subscribe.